You're about to see an AI witch my friend built for a Halloween party. The headline feature is the witch's voice. Natural, unscripted, very quick-witted, and totally in character. Let's fire her up and see what she says. Standing here with Joel, who has, with his wife, built Hagatha the AI witch. Hi, Hagatha. Want, I'm busy here. I'm speak and I'll consider. Hagatha has been a work of love over the past few years where she's an animatronic witch that we've built up from scratch ourselves. She's able to stir her cauldron and this year she is talking for the very first time where you're actually able to have a conversation with her and she can reply back in voice and in character. Rising smoke means potion awakens. Don't breathe too deeply. She'll talk about the space that she's in, the various familiars and animals that you see around, and she'll cast spells as well. Cast spells? Yeah, that's right. She's got a whole spell book here behind her as well, so she's able to help you. So if you want a spell of good luck, she'll happily oblige. Maybe we could fire her up and see if we can get a spell of good luck being made. So what's the app you've got there? I've just built it. So this is part of the setup. So it's using Claude Code. I really like Mischief Potions. Mischief potion, you say. Devil's fog on entrance barrel creates dense smoke for vanishing tricks and illusions. Want to try? Bet shit for me, da? Okay, I found the devil's fog. Should I put it in the cauldron? Good. Pour a tiny drop into cauldron. Not much. Too much blinds everyone, including me. Sir slow child, misty build electric. Okay, I can see the cauldrons. It's like smoking or fogging up. Now waff smoke gently. Let it fill the room. Practice your mischief. Lose wisely. Real quick, are you paying for more than one AI tool subscription? I bet you are, so stop that now. This is i10x, a unified workspace that puts the top models and over 500 specialized AI tools into one clean interface. Switch between GPT-5, Claude 4.5, Gemini, Grok, Perplexity, DeepSeek, and more in the same chat. No tab switching in one account. Chat with AI, draft docs, analyze PDFs, do deep research, create images, and even generate video. Then keep moving with cross-agent memory so context carries across the different tools. Compare AI models side-by-side -side in comparison mode. And if you're advanced, inside this platform, you can even build your own agents and chatbots. Pricing is simple. Basic from $8 a month and unlimited from $17.50 a month. Use code TH15 and that's about $7 and $15 per month respectively with that discount. Note here that image and video generation do run on plan credits, so the sweet spot here is the AI chat experience. Cut your subscriptions, keep one unified tool, and get all the top models plus over 500 AI tools in one place. Try i10x today, risk-free with a seven-day money-back guarantee. Use the link below with code TH15 for 15% off all plans. And thanks to i10x for sponsoring this video. Now, unfortunately, Hagatha's animatronics burnt out earlier in the day, but her goosebump real voice still absolutely stole the show on the night. Even if the pumpkin patch prowler was well and truly alive, plus Joel and Karen's place was crawling with other spooky set pieces to explore, a spooky graveyard, a deadly potion room, and even a misguided witch on a flying broom. Fun stuff aside, there's a full stack of powerful AI tools and automations working in the background to help make Hagatha possible. Joel, tell us a little bit about under the hood of Hagatha, some of the tech stack that we're using here. Just summarize that for us. There's a lot of interesting technology going into this one. First off, we're using OpenAI's models to do a lot of the characterization. So giving her a backstory, giving her the words that you're hearing. And then we're using Eleven Labs. It's actually using their new model where I've described the voice that I want that you're hearing. And they're able to take text and take the text out of OpenAI and turn it into the voice that we're then hearing. And then she listens through a little microphone that's plugged into her under her clothes there. And so everything that we say gets turned into text, goes over to OpenAI and then gets turned into the voices that we hear. So it just happens over and over again and it mimics this feel of a natural conversation that you can have with her. It sounds easy, doesn't it? But there's probably even more integrations and API calls and webhooks going yeah. on in the background. What's the tech stack that we've got happening there? So, 
The big platform that I'm using is one called Vappy. It acts as an organiser that does all of the routing of the various APIs so that it can coordinate when Hagatha is speaking, the interruptions that you hear. So if we speak over Hagatha, she'll stop talking. And to take that text that's coming out of the, the large language model and then get the voice and send it through to the, the speakers that's then allowing us to hear her. You yeah. can't share all your secrets right now though, can you? Yeah, <laughs> no, look, this, this has been a dream for the last few years, but it's only really this year that all the technologies come together to be able to make make this a reality. Also earlier in the day, Joelle stole one of Hagatha's magic chickens, so she turned him into a fox as punishment. So Joelle asked Hagatha for a spell to help him be a more cunning fox. Could you help me with a spell of good luck? Oh, Reynard the fox man, luck you say, chicken's not enough for you lately. What you seek luck for, hmm, speak and I'll consider. Look, I'm hoping that next time I steal a chicken I don't get caught. Could you help me with that? Yeah, yeah. Claim ignorance of fox and mischief, do you? A luck spell? Fine, fetch me full moon bottle on spell table by Seapot. Let's see if worth it. Spell table. Hmm. Spell table. I think that's this one here. All right, let's give this one a go. I'm going to pour some in your cauldron, Hagatha. There we go. Good. Now add a pinch of phoenix feathers on the spell table amber jar. Then stir carefully clockwise. Luck flows with the sun's path, not against it. All right. Here's a feather. Good work, child. Now drop it in gently. See how the cauldron bubbles brighter. Luck uh. listens. Keep stirring clockwise while I add clover essence. How much luck do you need? That's the point. Something's happening. There's smoke mm. rising in the room. Hey, that's expected, child. Rising smoke means potion awakens. Don't breathe too deeply. Luck potions compete with air. Keep stirring steadily. Feel it shift. Luck takes its form now. All right, Hagatha, we might just take a break there for a moment because uh, we need to just discuss how we're going to take care of this luck potion later. But, but Joelle, also, this was a mechanical steering, Hagatha. Just had a little bit of an equipment malfunction there at some point. Yeah, that's right. So she can actually stir the cauldron as well, but the motor burnt out earlier today, unfortunately. Behind the scenes maintenance. <laughs> Some secrets. Oh dear, don't catch that child, say again. Helping you out, Agatha. Alright, don't mind me. And there's a bit of smoke machine as well for a bit of effect. So when the kids come in, the idea is that they're coming and having a conversation with Hagatha and Hagatha gets them to make a potion and then yeah. there's a little bit of stirring supposed to be happening and then a little bit of smoke as well. That's right. And she can also sell them brooms and cast spells and tell them stories and do all kinds of things. Joel actually runs a company with his wife called Ada. Yeah, so I'm available at ada.agency and I'm available for to book calls and to talk about AI voice. Um, I've got a number of different AI voice agents for different purposes. So if this is something of interest, please do get in touch. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Hagatha. You've been very polite back there being quiet when I asked you to. So um, she's probably sleeping now. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.